Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. I am just really glad that you decided to come back by and sit a while and just kick your feet up and just watch me do what I do. Drink one of those cold, frosty things that go down so good and make you feel great. Uh, just, hey, I appreciate you guys dropping by. I really, really do. Thank you. Listen, today, I'm going to gear this video towards uh, first-time cooks, beginners, uh, folks that, you know, want to learn how to cook and do it right, but, you know, maybe they, maybe they want to actually impress a girlfriend and, you know, make chicken, fried chicken, but they don't want to fry the chicken and the girlfriend gets there and she bites into the chicken and, uh, hey, it's not done in the center. I'm going to teach you guys exactly what you need to do to have, you know, your chicken done. And we're using just drumsticks here, y'all. Uh, you can use this technique for, for any part of the chicken if that's what you want to do. But what we're going to do is fry it. So we have our flour here. We've got about a cup. I've got five drumsticks here. I've got two eggs. We have some oil to fry it in. We have salt and pepper. And an optional item here will be, this is my secret seasoning, my secret 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> if you want to know it, just ask. And I will definitely tell you what's in there. It's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. And it's very easy to put together as well. So... That being said, we're going to need some water too. So I'm, I'll include that in the, in the ingredients right down there when we put up the, the, the video. But for now, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to make perfect fried chicken. This We'll call this video maybe Fried Chicken 101. We've got our water boiling on our um, precision induction cooktop here. So you know, we've got it at the highest setting, obviously. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of salt to our water. I'm going to grab our chicken. What we're going to do, I'll put it in our, our water and we'll let this simmer. So I'll bring the, the heat down on this for 25 minutes, guys. And that's what this is going to do. It's going to get our chicken actually cooking. You know, it's going to get it cooked to the bone. So we're not going to have any raw spots in our chicken. When you put the chicken in there, it's going to bring the temperature down, you know, fairly quickly, and you're going to stop the uh, boiling of the water. So when when the water picks back up, you start boiling again. Go ahead and reduce your heat to medium, medium low, just so your chicken simmers. We don't want this falling off the bone because we still want to be able to fry it. Now I want to add this. Uh, it's really awesome doing these videos because I, you know, in, in real time, uh, I get messages while I'm doing these things. And I wanted, I got a message from Laura L. And she was asking about this, uh, the new wave, or yeah, the, the the new wave precision induction cooktop number two. Laura, listen, I'm gonna recommend that you grab it and buy it in the store. And the money that you're gonna save by just purchasing this with an extra p a pan that comes with it, I would I would purchase a, a great set of cookware. I've got Cuisinart here. Uh, it's got an encapsulated bottom. It's got a really thick bottom, so it works perfectly with the magnet on the you know, the induction cooktop here. Uh, it's great cookware. You get several pieces. If you need the link to this cookware, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and send you a link. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and put the link in the video anyway in the directions right down there in the comments or in the video description. And that's what I would recommend. Now, you want to go ahead and remove your chicken from the water. And just set it aside to let it drain. We're going to season our flour with salt and pepper and any spices that you would like to, to put in there. I'm going to crack and whisk my two eggs right here in this little pan. I want to say uh, thank you to my neighbor, uh, Barbara and Don. Thank you all for the eggs. <laughs> I really appreciate it. We're going to now take our chicken and season with salt and pepper. And now we'll take our chicken, we'll roll it in our flour. Get that flour all over it as much as we possibly can. We put it in our egg wash here. Let our little egg coat our chicken. Just like that. Put it back in our flour. Get some flour over that one more time. There we go. And then we'll put it in our oil. Put 
which is at 380 degrees. Just like that. We'll let this fry until it's golden brown on one side. We'll flip it, let it get golden brown on the other. All right, y'all, there it is. Let me see if I can get a close up of this for y'all. You can see that that chicken is absolutely gorgeous right now. Golden brown. I still gotta turn this piece. Let me do that right now. Look at the crust on there, y'all. KFC, eat your heart out. That's all I'm gonna say. But you see it's golden brown as well. If you're not experienced, this is a great way to do your chicken. We'll go ahead and take our chicken out now and we'll let it drain on some thick paper towels. And then we'll go ahead and give this chicken a try. Look at the crust on that, y'all. Amazing. All right, guys, there our chicken is. And we have our resident taste tester in the house today. Hi. Walter. What? <laughs> Walter. Wes is going to try this. Give it a shot, Wes. Tell us what you think, buddy. Oh, hot. Is it hot in there? Mm -hmm. Is it done? Yep. Done. How is it? How does it taste? Good. Is it crunchy? Is it moist inside? It's crunchy, all right. Is it done to the bone? Yep. It's almost like the crust. It's really good. Take another bite out of that, man. People want to see you. Is it moist inside of there? Yeah. It's good. All right, y'all. This is our video on how to make fried chicken for beginners. Fried chicken 101. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> what? Say bye, dude. Bye, dude.